Igniting a New Paradigm of Sustainable Ideas. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 149. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 149, January 31st, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 25% of the written content for the community lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan is purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of community and is now 100% complete on the website. Behind the scenes, we wrote an additional 25% of the work lesson plan, bringing the behind the scenes written part of that lesson plan to approximately 75% complete. We also completed the final 25% of the mind map for the winter lesson plan, bringing that to 100% complete, as you see here. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food completed another round of organizing the streamlined version of our food self sufficiency transition plan page, which includes contributions provided by naturopathic doctor Matt Martirano, creator of the coherent model for comprehensive digestive health. This week, we further organized the recipes, including creating a page for week three recipes. Our organization is now approximately 90% complete. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revisions for the Fooders Foundation and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was finishing researching and adding photos for concrete pouring and screening, elaborating on the narrative, and beginning the narrative for section 13, dome exterior finishing. We'd say we're now 66% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. We're in the Treehouse Village Pod 7. Jessica Rohrbach, architectural designer and drafter and 3D modeler, continued working on the updates you see here. This is update 2.0 from Jessica, and the focus is on the internal and external specifics of the communal kitchen and dining spaces. Chelsea Augustine, architect, also continued developing the compressed earth block village pod 4 massage and treatment room spaces. What you see here are some of the different layouts we've been discussing. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. 
Here's update 4.0 of his work that mostly focused on finding and creating textures for the southeast wing and beginning working on the roads and pathways you see here. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued the process of learning how to do our own renders for the Duplicable City Center. You can see here this work in progress, covering bathroom renders, working on textures, mirrors, sink, floor, and more lights in the public bathrooms. The core team also integrated Bupesh Sithala's palette furniture closet changes in AutoCAD from last week into the 3D models you see here. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued with these additional pipe couch designs for Duplicable City Center Library. Drawings you see here are her eighth generation drawings, continuing development of the couch idea with non-backed designs and a couple more options for the fixed back. Neha Verma, construction project manager and bachelors of, Ar of architecture, also assumed leadership of the development aspects of Duplicable City Center and created these updates highlighted here for storage and the bathroom entryway area. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, and Lucas Tsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, continued discussion about what the appearance and best functional design should be for the beside bed control systems interface. Lucas also started building the second prototype of the control system so that he and Mike could continue to test it and correct some programming, programming challenges they've encountered. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued our work on the highest good network with Andrew Herman, software engineer and core member of Futurist Playground. What you see here is brainstorming and outlining on how to integrate customizable options and widgets as well as our exploration into a possible tool for helping with decision making and task allocation. We also continued working with Ivan Manzaroff, artist and illustrator, to create new icons for all of our pages. Here are the icons Ivan created for the highest good energy component. Working with Oz Chersky, lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law, we also finished the licensing agreements for all our trademark slogans and logos and added them to the open source legal documents page of our site. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community is igniting a new paradigm of sustainable ideas through open source creation. Our idea is that if we can make sustainability easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own, and these ideas will blossom into more ideas, creating a global collaboration of people working on sustainability, covering all aspects of sustainability, and transforming life on this planet for everybody. When we talk about all aspects of sustainability, we're talking about an evolution of sustainability that includes physical sustainability co components, which are the common ideas of sustainability, food, energy, and housing, but also combining that with the emotional sustainability components that we've identified as highest good education, highest good economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation, true earth stewardship, fulfilled living practices, and more. Our idea is to put both of these things together as an evolution of sustainability and ignite this new paradigm of sustainable ideas by creating a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. The ultimate culmination of all of this is one community, the first of many teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world. The idea is to open source and free share all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to create complete sustainable villages. Igniting a new paradigm of sustainable ideas in the form of a complete sustainable village that can be replicated either as the total teacher demonstration hub, a solution model designed specifically to help others create solution creating models, or as individual components. Our idea is if we open source everything that we're doing and we make it as easy as possible to replicate, then human ingenuity and human creativity will do the rest. And so to accomplish that, we're bringing together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all, 
people that believe that we're the ones that we've been waiting for, that believe that the technology and the willpower and the, the desire to create a sustainable world right now already exists. And that's what we're doing. We're creating these tools, tutorials, resources, and open source blueprints so that people can take our ideas and replicate them, modify them, adapt them, make them their own ideas. And if they're interested in being part of a global collaboration, a global cooperation of others igniting this new paradigm of sustainable ideas, we're here to help share those ideas as spin-offs of the original prototypes that we're building and ultimately one community which will be a place that people can visit experience and if they like what they experience can go and replicate anywhere else in the world so if this sounds fun to you if this sounds exciting to you if this sounds interesting to you we have lots of different ways to get involved ranging from the pioneer members which will be the people moving to the property and building one community to just helping with social media we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to share our information because we are working to reach that global tipping point of participation where sustainability can positively impact the lives of every single person and ultimately live every single living creature on this planet. And the way to do that is through getting the information out there. So we are on Pinterest, we are on Twitter, we are on Reddit, Tumblr, Facebook, LinkedIn, and about 15 to 20 other social media networks to make sharing our information as easy as possible for people. Of course, we're also seeking large-scale funding. So if you'd like to help out, Small donations are hugely appreciated. A large-scale funder is really the thing that we're seeking right now to help us get the property off the market that we've been working with now for over five years so we can disclose that location, so we can share the details of why that property was chosen, why we continue to work with that location, why we're so interested in it, why it is perfect for... <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me, why it is perfect for the teacher demonstration community village and city model that we're building and how it specifically was chosen to be accessible to people from all over the world affordably for people in the United States by car to ignite this new paradigm of sustainable ideas with just a car ride away or a cheap flight to a really beautiful place that people want to visit with or without everything that we're creating. But when they do visit and see what it is that we're creating, they'll want to replicate what we're creating in a beautiful place of their own, and we're here to help that. So this is what we're up to. We thank everybody for following our progress. We thank you for your input. We thank you for the emails, the comments, the shares, the likes, all the support that we get in all the different ways that we get. The small donations, the five, 10, 15, 20 dollar donations are hugely helpful covering our web expenses and other nonprofit expenses. And uh, all of our organization is unpaid volunteers. So every dollar that we receive goes towards spreading our message, helping to evolve the website, grow everything that is that one community is doing and not paying people for doing what it is that we're doing. We're all volunteers in doing this because we believe that we can create a better world for everybody within our generation. And so this is what we're focusing on. This is what we're doing. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. And if you'd like to see more specifics, more details about everything that I've talked about, you can visit our written blog. As always, thanks for following our progress. And until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.